hello and welcome to my channel if you are a new subscriber thank you for uh, joining me in this beautiful journey of knitting this is the first tutorial of the year and um, a couple of weeks ago I made a promise for the B outfit in newborn size remember this is an outfit that um, is uh, used as photography prop it is in newborn size we have the sleeper a footed sleeper and the bonnet <laughs> this is too cute okay so let's talk about a little bit about the yarn I will uh, use for this uh, tutorial my choice is this one this is Nako Paris Paris and um, this yarn is very similar with embrace from King Cole and uh, baby Lulu um, baby B mm, this one is a um, is a brand of yarn that uh, you will find only in USA the uh, baby Lulu baby B um, unfortunately I can use I can't use embrace just because uh, in the palette color of embrace there is no yellow okay so I have this I will uh, leave, you, leave you a link in the description below the video so please always check out the description below because um, in case I forgot to mention something important in the tutorial uh, I will leave you a message in the description below I will work this yarn with a 4.5 millimeter needles circular needles these are uh, 40 centimeters long uh, this will be I think 16 inches so 4.5 millimeter needles or US 7 we will start to work first the slipper normally I will work um, top down using the raglan method and the sleeves also uh, normally um, I will work with uh, strips or in strips but in this case this is a um, custom order so my client uh, wanted the sleeves in black color so um, to make possible uh, this um, um, to make possible uh, that the yarn the sleeves to be black I need 
to change uh, my uh, usually technique let's say um, I will start from here with a provisional cast on I will work until here back and forth and then I will separate and work uh, the chest parts, the back part, this is the neckline, but I will give you the information while working. So step by step with you, I uh, hope you will enjoy knitting this uh, photography prop B outfit in newborn size. Also, um, uh, you might want to check out a tutorial I have here on my channel working the heel because uh, the heel is worked in black yarn and I think it will be harder uh, for you to see how I work, um, especially if you are a beginner. Also, this pattern is not so friendly beginner because uh, you need to work back and forth then circular we are making the legs circular we are making this part circular we are making the sleeves circular so yeah it's a little bit um, more difficult but i do hope uh, i will give you um, the correct explanation step by step and uh, in case you need more help, you know that you can always uh, message me and uh, I will help you. Now let's start with the cast on with the help of a different yarn we are going to cast on a long tail cast on 68 stitches with our 4.5 millimeter needles or US 7 so cast on 68 stitches one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Continue to cast on until you have sixty-eight stitches. Also, uh, you don't need to cast on like I am doing here. It is okay uh, with whatever method you like more. Um, anyway, this is just a provisional cast on, so it doesn't matter because uh, at some point we will undone this cast on. So continue to cast on until you have 68 stitches on your needle. Before we start to work our romper, I forgot to show you um, the gauge for um, this yarn in case uh, you can find this one and uh, you want to replace it so <clears throat> this is the gauge uh, 21 stitches and 30 rows 
using needles 3.54 millimeter US 6 for 10 by 10 square or 4 by 4 inches but as you can see I am not using 3.5 or uh, 4 millimeter needles I am using 4.5 uh, or US 6 because this yarn is identical with Embrace from King Cole or um, that uh, Lulu uh, yarn. Okay. I have my 68 stitches and please uh, the yarn uh, you are making the provisional cast on needs to be um, another color uh, a bright color because we are starting to working the first strip in black so it is important to see the stitches at the point where you will undone the provisional cast on so I have my 68 stitches I will cut the yarn making here actually I will not make a knot it's not necessary now I am taking the first uh, color my black color and I will start to work the sleeper okay so um, I still I am not so uh, I didn't decide yet uh, if I should count or not the rows because uh, it's more easy for you to count the strips each strips has five rows so I think it's not quite necessary to count the rows maybe only when working the strips okay because uh, here we can see for example from shoulder to this part uh, at the, cr uh, the crotch uh, you can count the strips 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 with the shoulder. Okay, but we are working here. So, <coughs> sorry, we are leaving a short tail and we start with a pearl row so we are working the first strip we have 68 stitches we are using 4.5 millimeter needles or US 6 and the first row is a pearl row so remember we are for the moment working back and forth in stockinette stitch so stockinette stitch is when you knit on the front side and purl on the uh, wrong side okay so we start with a purl row the next row obviously we will knit it was very hard to work this uh, slipper this outfit um, because um, of the black yarn uh, right now I am grabbing this tutorial um, a 
night not in natural light because uh, I found out that uh, you can see uh, better what I am doing here um, if I am working um, late in the night yeah so it was hard my eyes um, hurt a lot uh, trying to see my stitches okay so we are we have done the first row now we turn the work and continue with a neat row so this will be our second row then on row three we will purl And also on row three, we will work the edges for the um, buttonholes. And uh, our edge, each one is work on four stitches in the rib one by one. We will work in rib one by one. I will show you <coughs> right away. Actually, I think I will start the edge here on row two. I will show you. I will work until my last four stitches. So these are my last four stitches. And these last four stitches, I will work in rib one by one. Rib one by one is when you knit one purl one knit one purl one okay so knit one purl one knit one purl one so this was row two row three we have the first uh, four stitches in uh, rib one by one you can see I don't know if you can see here here I have a knit stitch here I have a purl stitch so this is how I start knit one god I can see this yarn this color so knit one purl one knit one purl one and then I will continue to purl until my last four stitches. If you think it is um, too difficult to follow uh, this um, rib edge, you uh, can work only in stockinette stitch even this edge okay and he will make the bottom holes um, when I um, I show you later while working okay so this is not um, um, something uh, 
that we must done. Okay, let me show you here. You can just leave it as a stockinette stitch, okay? It's not so, uh, oops, what did I did here? It's not so uh, important if you don't want to make as a rib of one by one. Okay, so we continue to purl until the last four stitches. Remember, we are working row three. And each strip is formed by five rows of each color. But because we started with uh, black, I will make only four rows for this first strip. While um, I am working, I am also um, thinking on how is the best uh, to explain how to make, how to work, how to knit this sleeper because um, I don't make notes and uh, just to read them. I just... Um, follow my work with no preparation. So we are at the last four stitches. If we turn the work, we will see that we have here two rows we we are um we've of worked three rows but the first one is this provisional cast on so we have two rows until now of black yarn okay let's see here we are working the edge pearl knit, pro, and knit. Okay. And this will be the last row with the black yarn. Then we will change the color. So this will be uh, row four, but actually you will see only three rows in black. So here I have a purl stitch. I will purl, knit, purl, knit, and continue to knit until the last five stitches. I know we have only four stitches uh, as um, our edge but I need to change the color and I choose for this romper to cut the black yarn I will leave a short tail and I will make a knot with uh, attaching the yellow yarn um, this is not quite something I will recommend you to do 
if you are a beginner because you really need to make a tie knot otherwise you risk to uh, see your work undone if that knot is not good so um, you need to be careful if you are following my method uh, we could uh, change the color after we are um, working this row but I didn't want so only because I will have those changes at the beginning of the row here and uh, I think it's better uh, to not see, not see uh, the color change uh, so obviously just because it is this um, contrast between these two colors and it will be visible but once again this is how I work so um, if you don't like it you can change um, to something else to something that you are familiar and you have tried before and you liked more okay so I have my last five stitches and now is the moment to cut my yarn I won't leave a long tail just a little bit And I am preparing with the, the yellow yarn. Let me see if I can find where the middle is of my yellow color. Let's see if I can make it from the first first try because not always I can do this so I will make a double knot first like this and another double knot this is tricky because this is not the best yarn to make knots with it's slippery okay really your knot needs to be really 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 tight and now i will cut a little bit here and let's see if i have a good yes i have a good knot and i will continue to work so now i am at the edge of a rib one by one i have a neat pearl neat and pearl okay now we are turning the work once again um, I just want to make uh, make uh, very clear what I am doing here so remember when I said that each strip it's formed by five rows you can see them here one two three four and five but because we have here a provisional cast on we already uh, have this as a row we can count this as a row and then we have two three four 
Why I am not making another row in black? Well, because my next row works in yellow, it will actually be another black row because my yellow, uh, it will be visible uh, only on my back of the work. Here in my front, I will have another uh, black row. So this way I will have four visible black rows. And once I will undone this provisional cast on and I will attach my yarn, I will have another row here. So here I have, I will have five at the end. Okay. And now let me show you, we've changed the yarn and now we are working first the edge, purl, knit, purl and knit. No, it's not good. Sorry. I don't have a pearl here. I have a knit here. So knit, pearl, knit, pearl. This is my edge. And now I continue to pearl until my last four stitches. Show you right away the front of our work. So here we can see the yellow on the back side, but not on the front side. So from now on, it doesn't matter at what row we are. Okay, it will matter how many rows in each color we have. I'm almost at my last four stitches. Remember that you always, always can change a pattern as you need or if you need to change that pattern. Oops, I lost one stitch. Okay, so my last four stitches, purl, knit, purl, and knit. And this is the front of the work. Okay, as you can see, We don't have yet a yellow row. So from now on, you know you need to change the color when on the front side you were, are counting four visible rows in one color, okay? So after I will have four visible rows, so I can count them in yellow, I know that uh, I need to change the color. 
also this is our work so this we are here as you can see and now uh, on this next row we will make the first buttonhole we will make the buttonhole only on uh, the yellow strip okay so uh, it's more easy to make them uh, in a color that we can we can see <laughs> this is the truth okay so let's continue i have my edge here pro neat pro and neat and now i will continue to knit until my last four stitches and on my last four stitches we will make the first buttonhole we have four in total four buttonholes now we can see the yellow row let's work until the last four stitches more stitches and we are almost there my last four stitches and now we can make our first buttonhole and what I am doing is to knit the first stitch then yarn over knit two stitches together and then purl the last stitch and here it is our first button hole now turn your work and work the first four stitches in rib one by one in case you decided to make this edge so i have a neat pearl this is my yarn over i will normally knit this yarn over then pearl now you can see the buttonhole better and continue to pearl until the last four stitches because I really really want to give you um, step by step explanation for this tutorial I think I will split this video tutorial in two three maybe four parts 
Um, because it will be a long tutorial. But I am doing this thinking of uh, all of you who uh, may never, might never uh, needed um, an outfit like this before. And I want everything to be clear. This is my uh, fewer baby Toto <laughs> he is sleeping and making noises probably he's dreaming <laughs> something okay So my last four stitches, I have a pearl, a knit, a pearl, and a knit stitch. Let's see the front. So now we have two visible yellow rows. Now we need to work two rows more and then we will uh, change again the yarn and this time uh, the first time we ch we've changed the yarn in the part of the pattern hole the next change will be in the opposite side so I will leave you to work the stockinet, uh, the knit row, then you will make the purled row and you will stop before uh, the last five stitches. I will come back to change the color again with you. These are my last five stitches and again I will cut a little tail of course you can change the yarn um, um, before the last six seven stitches I will change it before my um, five stitches and again I will try to make two double knots. I will wrap once, wrap twice, and now with the black, I will wrap the black around the yellow two times. It's not always a success. <laughs> and now I will pull tight. Just to make sure this will not undone. Now I will cut here. Remember uh, it is not necessary to do like me. If you know a better way for you to change the color, it is perfect to use your own method. I will change the color like this only uh, for the uh, back and forth part because when working circular um, we are not cutting uh, the yarn I will show you 
just a second to undone a little bit and show you you see okay now let's see I have my last five stitches Now I will try my work <clears throat> and see we've changed the color once we can uh, count here I have a needle here um, four stitches in yellow so one uh, four rows sorry one two three four because now we are working with black yarn but the next row, the knit row, will be also a yellow row. Like this. So I have first a pearl, then a knit stitch. This is my edge. Pearl and knit. And now we continue to knit until the last four stitches. And here it is. Now we can count here. One, two, three, four and five rows. So remember, once you have four rows in each color, you need to change the color because the next row uh, will be also um, the color before the change. I will leave you to work your for uh, black rows so we are here we've made this part the first yellow strip and now we just start another black strip you see we have this one that we are working another yellow and then we will work separated this part uh, half of the chest part so I will come back once I have four rows in black yarn and I need to change um, the color for the yellow strip I've made my four rows with the black yarn I am at my last five stitches and now I will change with the yellow yarn again cutting the black yarn leaving a short tail I'm taking my yellow and again I am wrapping first the black around the yellow two times and now I am wrapping <clears throat> the yellow around the black yarn two times. And then cutting here. Okay. 
and continue. I have a little bit of yellow mess yarn here. Okay, I will continue to work. I am at my last four stitches. This is my edge. I have a knit, a pearl, a knit, and a pearl stitch. Now I will turn the work again. This is my edge, knit, pearl, knit, pearl, and continue to work with the yellow yarn. On the next row, we will make again the buttonhole. Our second, actually, buttonhole. I will come back and to work with you the buttonhole. So continue to purl this row, then knit the next row and stop before the last four stitches to work together the buttonhole. My last four stitches and now we can work our second uh, buttonhole. I have first knit stitch, I will knit, then yarn over, knit two stitches together, and then purl the last stitch. Um, these are no brand needles and as you can see they are not so good pointed needles so i don't recommend you to buy um anything um because um they are not working I cannot work um, with them. Anyway, next row, I have here a knit stitch, pearl. This is my yarn over. I will knit the yarn over and then purl. And continue to work in purl stitch on the back side, in knit stitch on the front side, this is stocking and stitch. And I will come back once I have my four yellow rows and uh, before my last five stitches when we need to change again the color but also we will start to work separately the two chest parts and the back. Okay, I've done my four rows with the yellow. Now it's time to <coughs> again cut the yarn and attach the back one. <laughs> Let's see. Well, it's not always easy because this is a fuzzy yarn and it's a little bit tricky sometimes to make this. I did it. 
and we'll cut here and continue to finish this row this time I think I cut a too long tail in yellow but it's okay doesn't need to be perfect okay so I want to show you what we've made so far so we've made this part of course what you are looking from here to here it's actually the back part and this is uh, the chest part and now we are ready to start and work actually we are starting with this part let me see if I'm right yes with this part so in total we have um, sixty-eight stitches, and the first uh, chest part for the first chest part, we are using eighteen stitches. <clears throat> I will take take another needle. And I will continue to work my four rows with the black yarn. So I also I will count 18 uh, stitches. So this is my edge to three four and continue five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen let's check out again two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen so this is um this part the health of the chest part i will leave these um stitches on my circular needle just be careful to not lose any stitch and I will continue to work in stockinette stitch I need four rows in black and then we can change again the yarn here is my edge pearl knit pearl and knit if you're not try to um, place your knot on the back side of your work if it is possible of course and continue of course you can place these stitches on a uh, yarn holder I will leave them like this even if I, if I don't have a lot of space here on my table so this is my second row with the black yarn I will knit a little bit um, more fast 
and now I am working my third black row my edge pearl knit pearl and knit and this is my last row with the black yarn i will knit until um, the last five stitches <clears throat> i will work until the last five stitches so i have pearl knit pearl knit and i will continue <clears throat> until sorry until my last five stitches on this row so two four five and that's it now we are again cutting the yarn where's my yellow and again making a knot it's not always easy <laughs> as it look gotcha little knot okay remember to test your knot cutting here again and continue because um, this is the part where we will sew um, the, um, the buttons so we don't need to work button holes here we will work on the other uh, side okay so continue to work let's see we are here no i need to show you like this okay so we are here now we need to work next strip in yellow then another strip in black and another strip in yellow okay so i will come back only when i will change the yarn just to make this video a little a little bit shorter because it's not necessary to show you every row uh, remember once you have four visible rows in one color you need to change with the other color and <clears throat> we are not decreasing we are not increasing uh, we are working this edge here in rib one by one if you want if not you can work it in a garter stitch you can work it work it um, in stockinette stitch it's just something um, that you can decide what is the best for you okay I will come back once I will um, change again the color and because this is uh, half of a chest uh, you can see that we have uh, this rib edge only at the beginning of the row because here we will attach the stitches for we will pick up actually stitches for the sleeve 
but I will explain you later while we are progressing with our sleeper. Okay, so I will come back once I need to change the color. I just change my color again, continue to finish this row. Okay. Let me show you. Now we are working this strip. So we've already made made these two. Now we continue with the black strip. And I will come back once I have my four rows with the black yarn and um, it will be necessary to change again the color. So continue until you have worked four rows with the black yarn. And again, I've changed, changed the color. I am finishing this row and show you where we are. So we are here. Now we need to work this yellow strip and then the last, uh, the black strip. Okay, so continue to work until you have your four yellow rows and you need to change again the color. I will come back to work with you the last strip. And I just change the color for the last time for this part we are working and now I will work the last strip with you so you can see the steps Let's see. I hope you will enjoy knitting this sleeper and I hope you won't find it super hard to make. Okay. Now I am on the pearl side and this is actually my first row with the black yarn. This is my edge where I am first 
making a pearl then a neat pearl and a neat now I am working my second black row Okay, now my third black row on the pearl side. This is my edge in rib one by one. Okay, now row number four. One, two, three, yes. Row number four, and because we are not changing the color anymore, we are working the last row also, the five row five, also with the black yarn, but we are making like this so this is my last row okay i have four black rows on the front side and this is my last row i am on the pearl side so i will purl the first five stitches two three four and five this is my shoulder now I will cast off the rest of my stitches like this. This is a, a pearl cast off. So I am purling the next two stitches together. Move this stitch on my left needle again, purl two stitches together. These are separated. Purl two stitches together. 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 Purl two stitches together, purl two together, purl two together, and purl the last two stitches together. Now I am cutting the yarn here, leaving a short tail, and I will make a knot here. My fear baby again. <laughs> okay, and let me show you what we have done so far. Ta da! This is the first part. Okay. I know it seems hard, but once you get used to, you won't find it so hard, I hope. Now, we will place these five stitches onto 
a yarn holder and we will continue to work the second part of the chest and at the end we will make the back part and for this I need to place let me show you so this is my my work I will pick up from this other part another 18 stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen let's count again two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen so this will be the second part of our chest like this we are working okay this is how we work I place the work like this because I want you, you to see exactly what we are doing and if we count the remaining stitches for the back part we should count 32 stitches so 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 26 28 30 and 32 why we don't have here 16 and here 16 well because the extra four stitches two on the other side is actually uh, one of the edge remember that we have on each side an edge of four stitches so this uh, extra four stitches is one of our edge okay so for the moment I will leave these stitches on my yarn holder and I will come back and work with you the, um, the other half of our chest part of the sleeper and now let's continue with the other half of our chest part so again I pick up 18 stitches and we are attaching the black yarn like this I will make a knot here and then I will wrap this tail around the yarn I am working just to secure this tail and at the end I will wave it on the back side and now we need to work of course four rows with the black yarn and then I will come back and change the color and continue 
to work the next strip so i will see you after my four rows with the black color so i am on row four with the black color and these are my last five stitches now we need to cut the yarn and attach the yellow as we did before or um, as you did before remember you can change the color however you think is the best for you and your knitting method I know this will be a very long tutorial but I feel that we need to work step by step this sleeper so we continue to work this row remember that here we have the button holes okay on this part so we already have two and we are very close to work our third button hole but first I think I no it's okay okay so this is the last row the five row five in black yarn and now we start to work the first row with the yellow and we will make also the button hole okay my last four stitches i will knit one yarn over knit two stitches together and purl the last stitch so here it is my third buttonhole now i will continue to work until i have uh, four rows with yellow and I will come back to change the color again. My four rows in yellow are almost ready. And <clears throat> I reached my last uh, five stitches and now I change again the color. And I will continue to work my um, four rows in black. And then I will come back to change once again the color so continue to work until you have 
four rows in black. I've done, <clears throat> I almost uh, finished the four rows in uh, black. I uh, just changed the color and I will continue. <clears throat> Sorry. I will continue to work. Also, this is the last yellow strips for this uh, second uh, chest part. And also, um, we will work the last buttonhole. Remember that I have an edge here of rib one by one. Uh, you can work the same, you can work garter stitch instead of uh, rib one by one, or you just uh, leave it as a stockinette. So whatever you choose to work, um, it is okay. Okay, now I am ready for my last buttonhole. I guess you um, so that we are working the buttonhole on the front side. But um, you can change it. You can work the buttonhole um, in the left part. This is something only you uh, can decide how you will proceed. Okay, my last four stitches. I will knit one stitch, yarn over, knit two stitches together, and then purl the last stitch. And this is my last button hole. I will continue to work my four <clears throat> uh, rows in uh, stockinette stitch and I will come back for the final uh, changing color uh, for this part at least. So continue, I already have two, sorry, two uh, rows in yellow, I need two more. And we are changing the last time for the chest, the color, so let's attach the yellow, the black one, sorry. And after this, I will explain you the back part. Okay. So remember, we need Four, I forgot to cut here, four rows in black. Let's see. I will work a little bit faster so you can um, I hope you can see what I am doing here uh, many people 
write me to ask me if I can go slowly but this is just stuck in a stitch with a rib one by one edge I think it's not so complicated okay so I think we are working now the first row in the black color now we are going to work the second row okay let's not forget about the edge now the third I think row so this should be row three it's hard to count when you work with this yarn but it's only one two three yes okay this will be row four and the last row we will cast off some stitches as we did before on the other part okay i have a knit a pearl knit stitch and my last stitch is a pearl stitch for the edge and now uh, this is the front okay we will gonna cast off until the last five stitches we will keep this for the shoulder so we start we will cast off in pearl stitch so pearl two stitches together pearl two stitches together pearl two you see i have one stitch i will move this stitch on my left needle and again i pick up two stitches together and purl them together so this is how you purl of course you can do like this like this but since I have this yarn that I could not see, not see very well I prefer to take two stitches at once so you need to stop once you reach your four stitches because I have four here and one here and these are my five stitches I will continue to purl the last four stitches so here it is my five stitches now we cut the yarn leaving a short tail we take a little bit of a different yarn a little tail and let me see where I have my tapestry needle here <clears throat> And we are placing the stitches on this, <clears throat> sorry, yarn holder, like this. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And let's see what we have done so far. 
my friends this is the back that we will gonna work and this is the first part of the chest and this is the second part of the chest with the button holes here and now we are ready to start the back part i will turn my work like this so we can follow our progress so right now we will start with this strip here and then we will make another yellow black yellow and we will end with a black one so i am taking my work like this remember that for each uh, individual part we are attaching first attaching the yarn on the front of the work okay uh, this is how we uh, we've been done uh, on the chest parts and now I will take my black yarn I will continue to use my um, circular needles because it's more easy for me since I have such a little um, space work here okay leaving a tail a short tail we are starting to knit after the second stitch I will make two knots here to secure the first stitch and then I will continue to uh, wrap this tail around my yarn for a couple of stitches five six seven how many you think it is necessary at the end we will see you uh, wave this remaining tail on the back of our work okay and of course we will continue to work our four rows in black and then we will change the color so I will come back once I reach this part because um, from now on you don't have edge you don't need to make buttonholes you would not uh, what you want to decrease you will not increase just work in stockinette stitch and after every four row in uh, yellow or black you know you need to change the color and now we are working this strip so we continue with one black strip then we change the color and we work yellow strip then we change again the color for the black strip and finally again we change the color for the yellow strip so in total we have one two three four two in black two in yellow and i will come back after um, this last yellow strip to work with you this part here and to um, attach um, the parts together so i am at my last change of color i just attach sorry the black uh, color and i will continue to work 
for my four rows in black because the last one the row five in with the black color will be the row where we will cast off the stitches and join the parts i forgot to tell you that here now for this uh, back part we are working stockinette stitch on uh, 32 rows just my son calling me uh, 32 stitches sorry okay it's hard to work when your child is at home it's because he always wants something <laughs> but i think it is it is how um, This is how uh, the things should be. Okay, so now I am working my first row with the black yarn. I do um, encourage you to try this method of knitting in case you have some problems with your hands because of knitting um, this style of knitting is really um, much better sorry for our hands our fingers okay I am at row two I will come back once I have my four rows with uh, this color oops I lost a stitch so continue until you have rows with the black I've done all my rows four rows with the last color and your work should look like this the back part and the chest parts now we will continue with the last row and besides that we will cast off stitches we will join the parts and my last row is a pearl row on the back of my work just place it like this with the the upper part um, facing you okay now I will take a double pointed needle and I will place this is um, the part with the buttonholes okay this is the half of the chest with the buttonholes and from here I am picking up these five stitches three four and five now just look how i have here my work just a second so i placed my five stitches from the part of the chest with the buttonholes on a double pointed needle 
Now I need to start to work my last row, but before I am fold, folding my work like this. And we will cast off five stitches. I think this is the uh, neater stitch or something like this. We will cast off together five stitches from here and these five like this. I need another needle and of course uh, we will cast off in purl stitch and first I will pick up one stitch from here from the chest part and one stitch from the back part this is my tail and I will purl them together like this and then I am dropping both of the stitches from the needle so one from the front part and one from the back part careful because here we have a tail and we need to make a knot or two otherwise we will lose the stitch I'm so sorry that my light is not the best, but I do hope you can see here what I am doing. Okay, so we are working, working on uh, the back side of the both parts. Okay, so I, I have four stitches now here. I will continue so I insert my needle on one stitch on my chest part and one stitch on my back part and I will purl these two stitches together and then I am dropping the stitches and I am passing the first stitch over the next one. continue once again so I will pick up one stitch from here one from here I am purling these two stitches together and then I will drop the stitches I have two stitches now here on my right needle I will pass the first stitch over the next one let's see I have two more stitches here so I need to uh, continue to cast off again I am picking one stitch and another from the other needle and purl them together drop the stitches and pass the first stitch over the next one one more stitch I am picking up this stitch and one of this needle and purl them together drop the stitches and then I will pass over the first stitch over the next one And we've joined the um, the parts. Now I will continue to cast off until my last five stitches, like this. So I will purl two stitches together as we normally do 
So purl two together, purl two together, purl two together, purl two stitches together, purl two stitches together, purl two stitches together, purl two stitches together, and continue like this until you reach your last actually your last four stitches because um, stitch number five will be on your right needle I will show you right away a couple more stitches to go and we are ready to join the other part to the back. Actually, we are joining in the shoulder. This happen when your needles are not pointed two four I have two more to cast off okay so I have my last four stitches and one here so I count this stitch as my uh, first stitch I will place them together like this and then once again Let me show you to see what I am doing. So this is uh, the part where we already join and now I need to pick up these other five stitches from the other half of my uh, chest part. So one, two, three, four, five, and I will purl together with my last five stitches from my back part. So again, I need another needle and I will make exactly as at the beginning. So picking up one stitch from here one from here, purl them together. God, I can see the stitches with this color. So purl them together. Then one more time, pick up one stitch from here and one from here and purl them together. And then pass this first stitch over the next one. And continue again one stitch from here one from here purl them together drop the stitches pass the first stitch over the next one see I have two more stitches here and two here so again pick up one stitch of each needle and purl them together then drop the stitches and pass over the next stitch the first stitch and my last cast off pass over the stitch and this is it now we can cut the yarn here leaving a tail all tied and let me show you what we just have done so this is the back part of our work now we will turn the work on the front side
and this my friends it will be the first part of the B outfit video tutorial because there are many steps to follow uh, I don't want that um, somebody who is maybe a beginner or uh, to feel overwhelmed with so many uh, information from the start. So this is the first part of our tutorial. Here it is, the other sleeper. The second part will be for the sleeves. The third part will be for this part here until here. We will have uh, part four, one leg, part five, one leg, and the last part, six, of the video tutorial will be about the bonnet I'm sorry that it will be so so long but this is what I uh, decided and uh, I will continue like this uh, splitting this video tutorial in six parts thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to show you part two bye bye